the original video was way too long. So here's part two, and I'll link up part three at the end. The next issue is where to put your fish finder, if you use one. When I use the fish finder, I take out one of my rod holders and basically just use the flush mount in the back. So this is the Helix 7, and I mount the transducer in the front, so the transducer is away from the turbulence created by the propeller or my paddle. Now, I decided not to mount this permanently, and what I do is I just run the transducer cable up into my front hatch, and there's enough slop in here to where I can shut the uh, bow hatch and it's not going to fall out. Then with the battery cable, I just run that around to the back and I put the battery in a dollar store box to keep it dry and put that behind my seat. The other fish finder I use when I don't need the expanded capabilities of the Helix is the deeper unit and I just attach that right here in front of my rod holder and pull it down. If you like having one of these Orion cup holders, I decided to mount the holder part down here on the bottom of my kayak. There's a utility track that the seat rolls on because that way it's out of the way as opposed to being up here sitting on this utility track where it's going to get in the way of my rod holders. Now if you do this, this cup does not come with drain holes on the bottom, so you, be sure you drill a couple holes in the bottom because water is for sure going to get in here and you want it to be able to drain out. But having that right there is perfect. It doesn't get in the way at all. So here's a good DIY that I added to this kayak. This is my tool caddy for my knife, scissors, and pliers. And all it is is a piece of PVC trim with Velcro attached and I just loop the Velcro over the tools. And I've got a video showing this and another option to do the same thing that I'll link up in the description. But this is critical. When I'm sitting here in the seat, it's nice to be able to just get at this stuff without having to dig around or reach in back. So where do you put your measuring device? This is my bump bar, and I attach this to the side of my seat by just grabbing a couple pieces of Velcro and looping them through the bar on the seat and now that holds that in there uh, nicely. I can rotate this up if I need to get down to anything that's in this part of my seat area. The next thing I did is I added one of my rig racks here and basically all this is is one of my uh, gear heads and you attach that to the utility track with an elbow piece of another piece of PVC wrapped in a pool noodle and now I've got something I can put used rigs on so they don't go back into my tackle box wet as well as any rigs that I intend to use when I'm out fishing. They're here and immediately accessible. Again, video on this in the description. Another setup hack you may want to do is go out and buy one of these Thermarest pads to fit right here in your seat. I find that it makes it very comfortable to have that lumbar support uh, when you're pedaling. The next setup hack is a variation on that toolbar. I wanted a place to put my Procure Sense where I didn't have to dig for them here under the seat in my tray. So I created another PVC uh, back plate, screwed this into the kayak, and then looped some fabric around to hold my sense. Again, video on that is in the description. One of the things every setup needs is an anchor trolley either buy a commercial one like this or follow any of the do-it-yourself instructions you can see here on YouTube. With the anchor trolley you need to have some kind of a cleat that will allow you to release the anchor quickly when you get in trouble either with a fish or an obstruction or something like that. A lot of people make the mistake of tying the anchor directly to the ring and that's incorrect because you can't get get it loose and you'll see that you can see the detailed video I did on this uh, down in the description but with a cleat you can stick it on the cleat and now it's easy to unravel if you get in trouble and it goes away now with that you also need to make a float that attaches to your anchor line that way you can go back and retrieve the anchor later 
once the problem has been resolved. We all know noise scares fish, so I wanted to have a silent way to store and deploy my anchor. And that's why I created this PVC T with the pool noodle section to where I can put the anchor on there silently. Now, the other trick here is I'm using a dive reel to be able to control my line, and I've got just a little hook right here into a cap to hang that on there. And this goes in and out very easily on one of the PVC gear head adapters that I talked about in a different video. Want more? Well, there's a third part. I'll link it up right now. Thanks for watching.